Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a triangle scarf. And you can see here what it looks like now that it's finished. So I'm going to do trebles and chains today. And I'm also using my new hook from my last haul, so I'm really excited about that. So stay tuned for instructions. So here is the Wooly Hugs Easy. And we have here the stripes all in blue but in different shades. And you can see on the label here on the side that we can do one big scarf and one winter hat. So let me see um, what we, else we have here as far as details go. So I have my 9mm hook. This is for a 7 to 8mm one, should work just fine. And we have here 7% acrylic and 30% wool. 200 grams and 450 meters is the other info on here. So you can see here the colors that we have for today. So we can make a big scarf and a winter hat, but I'm going to show you a triangle scarf today. So there's more blue than you maybe see on the label, but I'm actually pretty excited to see if there's some white or light gray. But yeah, we can get started from the middle. So we're going to take the yarn out, as always, find the beginning thread and get started. Okay, so here we are, we have our starting thread and now we can do a slip knot as always and then we're going to start with chains. So in case you don't know what a slip knot is, you just basically go around your fingers in with your hook and take it out and that way you'll get your first little loop. So I'll start with six chains. So this is really great. The hook pretty much slides or glides through um, the yarn and yeah, I'm gonna take a bit more yarn and then we're gonna skip three chains into the fourth we go in and we can do a travel there. Then we're gonna do another one right next to that and the third one as well. So here you can see that we have the six chains, then three for the height, three trebles here, and that's pretty much it. So I have different projects where I show this in detail and really super slowly, but this is the same thing we're doing today, so let's keep going. Six chains for the height again. Or to start a new row, three are going to be for the height, we go into the fourth one, and we do our first treble and two more right next to that. There we go, now we connect these two little boxes, as I like to call them, with a slip stitch. So you see, we already know how to do it because it's very logical. And then what we're going to do is just do a slip stitch right there. And this is what we have for now. So now in the middle, we're going to do just three chains for the height, since that's all we need. And then we're going to do three trebles around these chains on the bottom. Also, make sure that you don't have any tangles or knots going on, that's not something you want. So these trebles go around the chains, that goes super quickly and is super easy to do. And yeah, now we have this little heart shape, or actually three boxes one in the first row and two in the second and yeah here on the right side this is where we started with the six chains and the three trebles that you see next to it and then the next box has just three chains for the height okay so let's start row three we're going to do six chains again that's always going to stay the same for the beginning of the row and then into the fourth again we go in and we do our three trebles
Now we connect with a slip stitch and then we do three more chains and now we do two more boxes. So around the chains on the bottom that you can easily spot right here, we're going to do three trebles. We're going to again connect that box to the next one and do that one more time. So you see here how lovely this looks and they just go around the chain. So the trebles go around the chains. Now we have the step with the slip stitch where we connect the two finished boxes and then three more chains and a new box on top. And number three is done. Um, I think I'm going to have to do it again when I clip it out. So you see here what I have, three boxes in row number three, that's always going to correspond. So the number of rows is the same as the number of boxes in that row. So yeah, you can see how we're going to keep growing our scarf. And I'm going to do a bit more and then I'll be back with an update just so you can see what it looks like after a while. So we're going to continue with the exact same thing as so far. Six chains to get started, then three trebles, then we keep connecting with a slip stitch to the next box, and then we do three chains, three trebles, slip stitch, three chains, three tre trebles, slip stitch, and we keep going like that until we have most of this ball of yarn done. So you see here we have a lot to do. You can of course stop when you reach the size that we planned for, but anyway, I'll be back in a sec with an update. So here is the scarf. It's really big and the longest side is 1 meter 50 centimeters. And you can see here the two other sides that are a bit shorter, but that's completely fine because we do want the triangle scarf. And yeah, you see how thick this is and it's super fluffy. So you can see the color gradient as well. I'm just going to run through the colors here. Most of them are blue. We have some um, gray shades in here and various blue shades as well. So yeah, we have a nice mix. It's really fluffy, really soft. So I'm at the tip now and now I'm going to shorten the thread and pull it out and then we can tighten a little bit to keep it in place and then all we need to do is weave this in so that we can hide it. We're going to do the same with the beginning as well. I have quite a bit left over, let me get the ball of yarn so you can see, so there is quite a bit to go. I'm going to stop here because I like the size but of course you could have done it even bigger or do um, the winner had at the label recommends. So yeah, as I said, we're gonna weave the end in, we're gonna weave the beginning in, you can see it here with on the little tip that we started with, and yeah, we're done for today. I hope you guys enjoyed, feel free to shoot a thumbs up if you did, you can also subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content, and make sure to click on the notification bell as well, because then you'll never miss a new video if I post it. So thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next project. Until then, have a wonderful day. Bye!